A lot of trades today in the stock index portfolio, in the all strategy access portfolio. The commodities, gold and silver, were the highlights on the day. I'm going to go over the stock indexes first. Adaptive moving average, minus 1550 on the day. It was long and then reversed to the short side. And we have this V pattern uh, where the market sells off. Talk, talk of an air pocket. The market was overdue for something like this, but it seems to always bounce. And so hard to, can, hard to capture a short trend, uh, a trend to the downside. Gap continuation did that. Made up for that for the most part. Did not, uh, you know be great to have exited near the lows, but oftentimes when you have an infinity strategy like this, what it does is it holds trades to the end of the day and looks for the mega moves, and so it gives gives about half of that half of that profit back. So that's what happened today on gap continuation. I made a video earlier how you could add a profit target and how it did capture about five trades and got out near the lows if you did something like that. That is one option in that setup. We're going to take a look now at Cobra CT3, minus 625. It was ready to buy the dip, but not on a day like today. It didn't work. Sharp move down, parabolic move down. Uh, take count trend to um, capture some long trades on the downside, and then finally got in on this trade, which was a successful trade, but overall in the day it's down, down about 300, about to exit this trade. Um, one minute to, to the close. This one, take count trend to five minute. Tried to buy the dip on this, uh, big sell off. Good exit though, you know, didn't didn't keep buying it like the one minute version, and it got out, and then it got back in on this trade, which is a nice entry, and so this ends up being a profitable trade right here, uh, minus 212.50 on the day on that. So this workspace overall, let's see, we did have a 60 minute breakout, it exited right there at 33.88.50. The market closed at. 33.88.25. So this is pretty much break even on the day. The trade was up 187.50, but it was break even from close to the exit point. So on the day, this workspace is right about uh, see minus 100, minus uh, minus $1,200 on this workspace roughly. And then Asia four long. Th this is one uh, one of those setups that will drive you crazy. So it came within one tick of the profit target. Went and hit the stop loss. The, when I try to micromanage exits so that they move up into the profit target, if it's uh, if, if the market moves higher and is close to its exit, if I back test strategies that have trailing stop losses, most of the time the exit is worse. And on a day like today, it seems like it would it would work better on a day like today. But overall, you have to treat all your trades the same way, and it's kind of a digital trade. You know, you hit your profit target or you hit your stop loss. And that's what happened today on that trade. NQ breakout had a nice trade. It exited. It the close yesterday was 97.3425, and it hit its profit target at 97.61 to capture about uh, 27 points or $540 on that on that trade on from to, from yesterday's close to the profit target. It's 540 on the day on this particular trade, and this is one that exited near the highs, and so. Um, 540, uh, and then to, this trade was down on the day by, it stopped out minus 1,000. So uh, QS3 minus 725, it lost on the day. Uh, SR counter trend 2, 15 minute, plus 475, perfect exit. You know, bought this opening dip, got out right here. The SR counter trends did a good job of not um, buying the, this dip. So uh, All strategy access three, some highlights on the day. Asia Gold hit its $1,500 profit target. That's the older version. Cobra Euro minus 118.75. Esser Counter Trip 2 Silver hit a $475 profit target near the high of the day. And those are all the trades on this workspace. All strategy access workspace four. Esser Counter Trip 3 Gold hit a $475 profit target. Nice trade on the day. I like this trade in natural gas. Uh, natural gas weekly inventories spiked up. Natural gas got out, hit its profit target of $500 in the market, reversed. And Asia Gold 4, uh, the 2020 version, also hit its $1,500 profit target on the day. Cobra Crude aggressive, minus 65 on the day. Cobra Crude conservative, minus 505. It got in later, looks for more confirmation. That's why it's conservative, but sometimes it loses more in that situation. Um, All strategy access 5. Uh, SR Counter Trend 2 Silver 
Uh, plus 475 on the one minute version got out right at the high so that's an, a, at that the high of the session um, for that time period it, the market did come back here so um, you see the move up move down choppy movement but SR Canterton 2 silver captured that the five minute version 475 the 15 minute version plus 75 and so nice trades in the commodities overall and silver and gold and natural gas uh, down a little bit in crude oil and stock indexes were down on the day. Those are the trades on the day for February the 20th, 2020 with the big air pocket down. Uh, one of the a couple of the reasons, uh, profit taking, interest rates, uh, the concept of yield curve inversion as uh, interest rates move lower, potential yield curve inversion and um, right, right about when bonds were making their uh, interest rates were making their lows on the day. The air, air pocket happened, and so the news of coronavirus could have caused it. But um, you know, it's been the news on coronavirus has been less and less, so it, it could still increase. So we will see what the future holds tomorrow. Is Friday, last trading day of the week.